Shatsian, one of the most loved front-end tool in modern days. The best part of Shatsian is it not only comes with its own base components, but it built a great system where it lets other developers build their own UI libraries on top of Shatsian. In fact, our library Retro UI is built on top of Shatsian. Uh, you can browse different components, uh, select whichever you like, and using Shatsian CLI, you can install this into your project. Now, this is great and all, but many of you are probably Vive coders who doesn't want to write the code and want to use AI to write the code for you. And for those of you, Shatsian recently launched MCP server, which will let your AI talk to any UI libraries out there that's based on Shatsian. So if you go to Shatsian's GitHub repository and search for registries.json, you will find a bunch of libraries out there already uh, in this trusted repository. And I'm pretty sure there will be more and more uh, added in near future. So I can I can already see Magic UI here, uh, 8 bit CN, and our own Retro UI. So let me show you how you can use this in your own project. To get started, just go to Shatsian website, go to Docs, and here you will see MCP server option. And this will give you a simple instruction how you can install this. Uh, for my project, I'll be using Cloud Code, but you also have options for cursor and VS Code. I am using PNPM, so I'll copy this paste and this should install Shatsi and MCP server into Cloud Code. So once it's done, uh, you can open your project and you will see a mcp.json file. And here we can see Shatsi and is configured. So now you can just run Cloud. Uh, yes. In, and you can type slash MCP and you'll see Shatsi and is connected. And here you can see all the APS you get uh, from the Shatsian MCP. So let's exit this. So now we can ask it to build some UI for us using any of the Shatsian registry. So I have a default Next.js project here called Hello. And you can see the UI. Pretty empty, right? So we can ask it something like make a blog card using retro UI registry. And now it's going to use the Shatsi and MCP uh, to find out the Retro UI components and use them uh, to build the UI. I can see it found the Retro UI registry URL and added that in our components, the JSON file. Yes, you can see it here. Okay, looks like it's done. Let's go to UI. We have an error. Looks like this package is missing, so I can just copy this error, give it to the AI, and it should figure out the error and install the dependencies. Yes. Let's check again. Okay, I can see three block cards that is using the retro UI components. Uh, obviously, there are some theme issues here, uh, but it can be fixed. Uh, if you check the code, page, and I can see it installed the Retro UI card and Retro UI buttons. So, pretty cool, right? You can also ask it to mix and match other uh, registry components. So, two of my favorite uh, Shatsian libraries are 8BitCN, which is this pixelated components, and React bits i believe yes this and this has some super fancy animations uh, if i show you some examples you can see the split text this shuffle there are a bunch of other ones i like this one a lot ascii text which looks super fancy and hacky and stuff there's also glitch i like this one a lot as well so we can ask claude to do something like make a scoreboard using 8-bit CN and some fancy animations from React Bits. 
Of course, in a real world scenario, you have to be a lot more descriptive to get better results. Like you can specifically mention if you want a glitch text or count up or this fed content. But we are just seeing some examples here, right? So I'll let the AI figure out what it wants. So let's hit enter. Uh, so it's searching for the 8-bit CN registry and the React bits registry. Looking good so far. All right, it's done. It added an animated scoreboard using 8-bit CN and some fancy animations. If we see the code base, let's open up components. And I can see it added the 8-bit CN registry. And in the page, I can see the scoreboard. And I have all the codes here. Now let's see the result. Uh, this is animating. And I can see the scoreboard of player 1, 2, 3 and 4. Has some slight nice animations. Not bad. So this player is the highest. So it went in front. Nice. Pretty cool, right? Obviously, you'll have better results if you give more descriptive answers. But for a very vague prompt, I think it did a decent job. So yeah, do check out uh, Shatsy and MCP. Play around with a lot of these UI libraries that you have access to. And tag me on Twitter if you build something cool. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.